Hello and welcome to Hobson Bros. This week we're taking a look at calories. For an open window on a crappy world Max and Chris from Ups and Brews Ups and Brews Welcome to Ups and Brews So before we start the video today, uh, I want you guys to take a look at the link that we have down there. It's our t-shirts. So we have t-shirts, Hops and Bros themed t-shirts now, which are really cool. Uh, if you click on the link, it sends you to a website where you can select your style. We've got tanks, we've got v-necks, we've got t-shirts, we've got those crew neck shirts as well. They all have the little Hops and Bros logo and a drawing, an original drawing from David Buis on the back, which I think is really, really dope. Really like these shirts. Uh, mine is in the wash right now. That's why I'm not wearing it, but I have been wearing it a lot because I really like it. I think it's really cool. Anyways, calories. Calories in beer are one of those. Archer. I'll say hi. Hey, yeah, Archer. No, over there. Yeah. All right, buddy. So calories. Calories are a way for us to calculate uh, the energy budget that your body has. Not us, just in general, how you calculate it. So one calorie is uh, the energy it takes to uh, get one kilogram of water one degree higher in temperature. That's kind of how you calculate it. Most, most humans, most people need about 2,000 to 2,500 calories in a day uh, to be able to do their daily activities. But that is non-dependent on if you're, say, a track runner or you do a lot of physical activity. You might actually need more calories. Now, not only that, but everybody's different. Everybody kind of uses those calories in a different way. It might take more calories for one person to be able to do an activity or they might actually intake less calories from a product. Uh, so even though a product will have the amount of calories on there, uh, it might not mean that you as a person are actually going to extract those amount of calories on it. And again, calories is your, your energy, but it doesn't account for anything else, like any of good nutrients, good vitamins, good uh, proteins. It's just calories, just energy. Uh, so take celery, for example. Only calories, there's not much more to it. And it takes a lot of energy just to digest celery, to digest the calories that you have there. So you're kind of at a point of diminishing returns. Calories, kind of weird. Now, calories are really important in beer. When you think of Michelob Ultra, you think 100 calories, oh, that's crazy low. Uh, and it's very hard to get a beer that low because alcohol counts as calories as well. So you'll have a high ABV beer be extremely high in calories, and that might be your, your 2,500 for that day, or it might be close, especially with all those lactose, double IPAs and whatnot. They kind of tend to be intensive in calories is not necessarily good and your body digests uh, alcohol calories in different ways it kind of, of takes your liver it goes directly to your bloodstreams to your liver for your liver to process it which means that while your liver is processing that it's not processing anything else which gives you a backlog uh, now let's talk about the beer gut. Beer gut uh, is more of a lifestyle thing. Now naturally, uh, if you have one beer a day, it shouldn't be an issue. Even a beer an hour for a night of drinking, your, your liver can handle that. It's when you start drinking in excess that it might start to kind of clog up the system. Now the other thing that you have to take account for people who are heavy drinkers uh, is their lifestyle. They might not be as active. If you have a beer and you go for a run, 20 minute run after, you're gonna lose those calories pretty quickly. But if you stay on your couch and you have three more beers, that's where you start storing that fat. And those calories, they don't get used up, so they get transformed into fat. Um, so as beer drinkers, we kind of have to look after our calories in a way, because uh, there's a lot less in, in wine, a lot less in, uh, in hard alcohols as well. Um, but beer's fun, beer's great, I like beer, um, but everything, I mean, you don't want to do anything in excess. But calories, kind of weird uh, that you would think of beer and calories. I never really used to, and now I kind of look into it. Uh, and mostly I wanted to do this video because pretty soon uh, brewers are going to have, breweries are going to have to put the uh, caloric intake on their beers a lot more. There's going to be a lot more rigid laws around what is indicated on the products. Because right now we're kind of the moon, uh, the honeymoon phase where uh, most brewers don't have to put anything on there. I mean, you've 
You've got the alcohol, you've got if it is strong beer or just a regular beer, and the amount of milliliters in that product, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the rest of it, you don't have to state the ingredients, but if you do, then you have to state all the ingredients. Those laws are clearly gonna change, and calories are gonna become a lot more important. I think it's more of a lifestyle thing. As long as you are active, having a beer after work, it's fine. It's when you have a little more and you don't really think of it, you don't really look at it, that it might become a problem eventually. Um, but yeah, calories. Cool. If you like this video, please uh, leave a like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.